I see a lot of comments asking how do you turn off or turn on Facebook page messaging option or the button. So for this, I have a previous video, but of course Facebook, they change the dashboard all the time, right? So this is why this is an updated one. Uh, I have a lot of questions on how to update in post as well, but just to let you know, in Facebook page post, once you publish it, you can't change the call to action button. So you have to create a new one. Okay, anyway, back to this video. So this video is on how you can turn off or turn on the send message button or the option for people to message your Facebook page. Okay, now before I begin, if you're new to this channel, do subscribe to this channel so they can get more followers in Facebook. Without further ado, let me jump into my computer. And after that, I'm going to go into my bar as well just to show you where you can turn off this messaging function in Facebook page. Let's go. First of all, log into your Facebook account in your browser, whichever browser that you use. I'm using Google Chrome and switch to your page. So for new page experience, you need to switch to your page profile. So go to top right. For example, here, just click on this. All right, and I'm switched to it. And then how do I go to change the message? So go to top right, click on it, you can see settings and privacy, click on settings and privacy, go to settings, and then you can see how people can find and contact you, and then you can see allow people to message your page, which is here. So let me show you the example how it looks like. Currently you can see that, let me just show what it looks like view as. So you can see that there's contact us, there's message, and there's like. So this contact us is actually the link that I put in. So how to edit this call to action button, I have another video on it. So you can just refer to the video and see how you can change the call to action button. Uh, but you want to remove this message button and also remove all the message from all the posts that you want all right so just click here click on here so when you turn this setting back on it will take up to 24 hours for them to be able to message your page again so this is a bit different from my previous video so i have another video on this exactly as well just that the, the layout is different right now now we, they put it in how people can find and contact you in comparison to last time i think it's in privacy something like that okay but just in case if you cannot find it here you can refer to that previous video and that previous video might just show you where you can find so basically facebook changed the layout all the time but this is the latest layout but if you're still having the old layout you can refer to the old video and now let's refresh and then you should be able to see the message button is gone okay and left contact us if you want to remove this call to action button as well again i have another video to show you how to edit your call to action buttons you can just refer to that video okay so that's how easy it is uh, using computer let me go to my phone it is quite similar but maybe you can just have a look and into it because you know clicking might be different so yeah, let's go to my phone and let me show you how you can do it with the phone. Let's go. Okay, now open up Facebook in your mobile. Now log in to your Facebook page. Just click on top right. Okay, so I just want to log in into my Facebook page. So I just click into this. I'm switching to my Facebook page. It's very easy. Just go to the top right. Again, click on it. Go to settings or the gear icon on top. Click on it. And then you scroll all the way down. You should be able to see how people can find and contact you. So as you can see, the wording is exactly the same as what you see in the computer. And then you just turn on and turn off here. Okay, so that's how easily you can just turn on or turn off messaging in your Facebook page. Once you turn this off, no one can message you. And once you turn it on, you must give them 24 hours for them to message you again. If you like what I share, do give me a like and also subscribe to this channel so they can grow your business and get more followers in Facebook. Thank you so much and i see you next time. Goodbye.